radio call to other boaters nearby, but not for anyone who runs into trouble in one part of Georgian Bay. As Roger Klein tells us, there is a very dangerous dead zone. Sean Massingham is listening to the forecast on his VHF radio before heading out into open water on Georgian Bay. The charter boat operator says his radio is supposed to be a lifeline in an emergency, but he knows the Coast Guard radio center in Thunder Bay can't always hear him. We can't get any kind of reception from uh, Thunder Bay. Uh, it's very sporadic. It's in and out all the time. So, I mean, if there was a problem and we needed to get a hold of somebody, um, odds are your May Day will go through, uh, but then there's that chance that they won't. This was the boat here. That's my right. David Holding makes his living assisting boaters on Georgian Bay. He says radio reception is deteriorating in the Severn Sound area, and a cell phone call for help does not alert other boaters in the area. Whereas with the radio, a VHF radio, everybody with a radio can hear your situation, and they may be very close and in the best position to help. That's why a radio is so crucial. The Canadian Coast Guard is aware that VHF radio reception is poor on parts of Georgian Bay. The regional director for Maritime Services tells me that the issue is being studied so improvements can be made. At this point, the best options to improve coverage have not been identified and no budget has been set. The captain of the Miss Midland says his radio works fine, but it's critical to maintain marine radio equipment regularly. Response back right away, usually five by five. Holding says a repeater transmitter is what's needed in the Penetanguishene area before it's too late. And that would fill in. There would no, be no more dead zones. Every call for help would be heard. The Coast Guard says improving radio reception on Georgian Bay is a priority because of the high volume of boat traffic here. In the meantime, boaters are urged to maintain their equipment for maximum performance. Roger Klein, CTV News, Collingwood.